And then Murat Huznadinov, he's taken off. It's been like the past like two weeks, the prospects have all been lighting it up. But Huznadinov is now being elevated back to first line center for Ska. They're winning games, they're first place, and he is producing like a maniac. He didn't get credit for the assist today. He should have. Game before that, two goals. Game before that, one goal and like three assists. Then two goals the other day too. So last four games, he got four goals and four assists for eight points. And he's lighting up the score sheet, playing center. It's interesting though. He's like technically their first line center. He doesn't take a lot of the faceoffs. Like if you look at the totals, and I noticed while I was watching, because again, I'm like working and watching at the same time. A lot of times he won't take the face off, but he is slotted as their center. And he takes, it's odd because he also takes more in the defensive zone than he does the offensive zone. So, but that's interesting. You know, he's up to, I think it's seven goals, 14 assists for 21 points in 30 something games. I still would like to see him shoot more. But what I do love about these goals, a lot of them are coming from the dirty areas of the ice where, you know, he's a tiny, tiny guy. But in the past, we've talked about it before. He kind of would stay to the outside a little bit didn't get to the inside ice as much but now he's living there it's funny you'll see him like net front with two defensemen next to him they're both like six four he's like five eight on a good day 102 pounds soaking wet and he's the one finding the rebounds finding the loose puck and tucking him in so he's working his fucking balls off the skating's incredible the skating's like elite level skating and again he's another player he's 200 feet you know he's very effective defensive zone he's on the ice late and close He's killing penalties. He's being used in every situation, which has just been such an up and down year, right? Like he came in, had a letter, was their top line center. All of a sudden started getting scratched, like playing three minutes a game, got lost his A. He didn't actually end up getting sent down or anything, but like basically did where he's playing. I think it was one game, you had like a minute and 12 seconds of ice time. And you're like, what's going on here? And then he slowly kind of just started climbing his way back up in the lineup. And now you just can't take him off the top line. Like they're dominating him, Gusev. And uh, what's his name? Dimitri Yashkin. They're just ripping teams apart. And who's, you know, has been a big part of it. So, you know, I said before, he did have the potential to be a top six for the National Hockey League. I just didn't see it enough on a consistent basis. And now he's playing with a ton of confidence. He's all over the puck. It seems like every goal that goes in, he's got something to do with it. And again, he plays hard, man. You forget that he's so tiny.